Well, hi all. Uh, happy Homebrew Wednesday. Well, it's Thursday, so I missed that. Um, haven't been around for a month, but I've been eating off the beer a little bit, maybe. I haven't had a dry month, but um, suffice to say, not as much as normal, anyway. Um, thought I'd give you an update, um, maybe talk about some things, and talk about what's coming up in the next few weeks. Um, First thing, let's get a beer. Um, one thing I do notice quite a lot on some of the homebrew forums, and it's not many people who are just starting out, they're always concerned about their, their head retention and whether or not it's a problem or, um, or why it's actually happening. And I thought I'd talk a little bit about that to start off with. Um, what I've got here, I've got a couple of beers well, which I've made, and I think one was made just for Christmas, and one was made just a few weeks after that, like, you know. And um, had about two weeks fermentation, and they're up to about three weeks conditioning now. They've been conditioning the keg, I haven't really touched them much. Um, but let me just show you what I've got. I've got my, uh, I made a, an American IPA. Haven't really cleared out much, but I've got some L04 yeast in there. Um, let me tell you about the recipe. Uh, Marisota, Munich, Vienna, wheat malt. The wheat malt can actually give a bit more, give better head tension. Uh, I normally put it in there to dry it out, but this time I found that my my wheat malt I think is a bit old, and it's not attenuating quite as much. So I, I, I was looking for something like a seven percent ABV beer, and I got something like a six percent one because you now I put the half a kilo of wheat malt into the brew, and it didn't really. I think it just didn't attenuate down, so it's actually down by maybe one of those six or seven points. Anyway, let's pour this IPA into what we got here. Yeah, let's pour it into here and see how it goes. Now, uh, what I think, as you can see, that the head's quite good. I poured it from a bit of a height. Um, not really dissipating too much. And also you get some good lacing on the sides as well. Um, so that's not looking too bad. Nice, nice color, still off-white, off-orange, off like straw color. Um, obviously I've got the Munich and the Vienna malts in there, so that's good. And the nose are getting quite a lot of the hop aroma, some so dry hop tears. I think I used Cascade and some Columbus in there, maybe to dry hop, maybe something else, I'm not sure. Hmm, might have used something different. Anyway, the bittering hop was Columbus and Summit. I think Sub Summit most likely. That's, that smells good. Um, I did have a slight problem at the start, so I bottled it up and took it to my local homebrew group and they could smell aldehyde. Uh, uh, anyway. uh, so I actually took the keg out and just left it in the corner for another week to actually just uh, get the, get the, um, what's the word, get let that ferment out a little bit. Just check your work. <laughs> yep, we saw that. Uh, I think it's definitely cleared out a bit now. So yeah, it's much drier beer. I definitely, I, I mean, I'm never really very good at detecting it, but I could tell if something was wrong, and now it's uh, much clearer. Strong, bitter, hot aroma, hops on the nose. Bit of body there, and it's good strength, it's about 6%. Yeah, so, let's come back to the head, the heads, it's hanging around, nice lacing. See, I mean, some people like a nice big, thick, thick fluffy head, and um, it doesn't bother me too much. I mean, on the American parallel, I think that that's quite good, really. So, yeah. So yeah, I'll have to do some more in a minute. Let's pull some more beer out. Um, I made a porter. I'm hoping to pop this. In, oh. I've got some to go in the National in a few weeks time, 
I'm going to put that in and I'm going to stick a sour in as well, which I'm not so sure about sour, but either way. Um, so, you know, I've got it in, the, in a container again. I'm going to pour into this glass here. Look, we've got the whole. Carbonation is fine. This has been keg conditioned. Uh, nice and clear. Again, nice. I don't know if you can see that, we get a nice uh, amber color. So it's clear that really well there. I think I used. Oh dear. I think Sapel 04 used some that. So yeah, not really getting much of a head on that. Not really. I think. I think it does. I think it might be because I had that. It might be a bit cold or something. But so again, good lacing. It's a bit fizzy, but. Um, was it uh, Valsalta, uh, really dark crystal malt, some chocolate mould and uh, some biscuit mould there to give it a bit of a biscuity flavour. I didn't use any brown mould um, and generally that is what should be in the style but um, I didn't use any uh, roasted barley either so that might be, it might do it in its favour. So a quick smell. Get some nice chocolatey aromas on there. Don't know whether maybe maybe slightly roasted flavours. That's looking good. Um, as I said the colour's great. Heads heads fine. It's not completely flat. I think uh, that would. I'll give it a bit of a shake in a minute. See see what happens there. Does uh, that taste? They get a good body. You can taste that malt, those crystal malts again. It's quite a dry porter. I think it's about five percent, so that's not too bad. Um, bitterness is—it's not majorly bitter, but I wouldn't expect that my porter. But it's clean. It's attenuated well. I took it to my homebrew group as well, and they said that there's a salvahide in there as well. But uh, I did exactly did the same chip. I left I left it out to the uh, keg for weeks to just clear out a bit. So it seems to be good now. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, let's see if we can give it a bit of a shake up and see if we can get. It. No, so this one here, because I haven't, because in the American pale, I put a, a lot of wheat malt in there. There's no kind of uh, different types of malts in there to give it that kind of head. Um, so you, sometimes you get wheat malts, or you can stick um, uh, oh, some sort of corn and stuff like that in there. But no, it's not, it's not hanging around. But it's not a big issue. Please leave your comments down below what you think about this. Um, so yeah, that's looking good. Um, what's coming up? Middle of next month, National Homebrew. I'm um, going to be doing some judging for that. I don't know what section, but um, I'll definitely be there. Um, I'm not BJCP registered, like you know, but I can actually judge uh, with another judge, and that'll be an interesting bit of a learning curve. Um, I've done peer assessed beer, beer tasting in my homebrew group so I know what to look for and I know how to do know, know what, obviously the way it all goes and um, that's about it really uh, I don't think I'm planning on doing any beers yet um, got two keg got a couple of pints of it in there uh, I've been making some cider and stuff which um, I think it's apple and mango saga and that's that's coming along um that's almost ready to be bottled up and yes okay well uh, please like subscribe and share and leave in the comments and i'll hopefully see you all soon bye bye mm.